How do you insert a photo into a blog post and put a caption on it so that you can give credit to the photographer? That's what I'm going to show you in the course of the next couple of minutes. So make sure that you have your blog post open that you want a photo in and decide what kind of photo you want. This post is about 12 ways to make the most of Listen 12, which is a conference that I'll be going to this year. So I think what I want to have is a photo of the number 12. So I will open a new browser tab and I will go to the site Compfight, C-O-M-P-F-I-G-H-T dot com. When Compfight opens, I will type in the search area here, number 12. And it will take a moment and it will search the Flickr archives for photos of the number 12. I want to be sure that Creative Commons has been selected. That, that ensures that the photographer has given me permission to use the photo with credit. So I will scroll through and find a photo that I want to use. And there's one right here that I want to use. So I'll click on the photo and that will open another browser tab and take me into Flickr. From here, what I will do is choose Actions and then View All Sizes, and that will get me a variety of sizes of the photo. I'll choose one of the small ones, and then I right-click on the photo and choose Copy Image URL, and that is the address exactly to the photo, not just the page that the photo is on, but the photo itself. So I'll copy the image URL. I'll come back into Flickr in just a moment to copy a few more things. I'll go back to my blog post and click where, about where I want the photo to go. Go to the area that says Upload, Insert, and I'll choose Add Media. If the photo I want to use was on my own computer, I could drag and drop it into this area. But instead, I'm choosing From URL because it is on a website where it says URL, I'm going to right click and choose paste and that is the address of the exact photo. Now I'm going to go back to the Flickr page and I will go back to the main page with the photo on it and I will scroll down and find the name of this picture. So I'll copy that, this is clock number 12, so I'll copy that go back into my blog post and where it says title I'll put quotation marks and then put the name of the photo and then I'll type in by and then I'll go back into Flickr and scroll up and get the name of the photographer in this case it's Leo Reynolds so I'll copy that and paste it in WordPress requires that you have a title for a photo I just use the same thing for the title as I do the caption on the photo. I like my photos to be aligned to the right, so I'll choose that. And the last thing I need to do in Flickr is to get the URL of the page that the photo is on. So I've chosen that, back into WordPress, paste in the URL of the page that the photo is on, and choose Insert into Post. And now my blog post has an image on it, and under the image is a caption that gives credit to the photographer and puts the name of the photo. It's time to save my draft, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I preview it. So I'm choosing Preview. And there is my blog post with the photo in it. If I think the photo is a little big, I can go back into WordPress, click on the image, go to Edit Image, and I can make it smaller, and then save it. And that's all that you need to do to put an image into a WordPress blog post and give credit to the photographer. I hope you found that helpful.